In mathematics, an integral equation is an equation in which an unknown function appears under an integral sign. There is a close connection between differential and integral equations, and sim problems may be formulated either way. See, for example, Maxwell's equations. Overview. The most basic type of integral equation is called the Fredholm equation of the first type. The notation follows off Ken. Here phi is an unknown function, f is a known function, and k is another known function of two variables, often called the kernel function. Note that the limits of integration are constant. This is what characterizes a Fredholm equation. If the unknown function occurs both inside and outside of the integral, it is known as a Fredholm equation of the second type. The parameter lambda is an unknown factor, which plays the same role as the eigenvalue in linear algebra. If one limit of integration is variable, it is called a Volterra equation. The following are called Volterra equations of the first and second types, respectively. In all of the above, if the known function f is identically zero, it is called a homogeneous integral equation. If f is non-zero, it is called an inhomogeneous integral equation. Numerical solution. It is worth noting that integral equations often do not have an analytical solution, and must be solved numerically. An example of this is evaluating the electric field integral equation or magnetic field integral equation over an arbitrarily shaped object in an electromagnetic scattering problem. One method to solve numerically requires discretizing variables and replacing integral by a quadrature rule then we have a system with n equations and n variables. By solving it we get the value of the n variables classification. Integral equations are classified according to three different dichotomies, creating eight different kinds. Limits of integration both fixed. Fredholm equation one variable. Volterra equation placement of unknown function only inside integral. First kind both inside and outside integral. Second kind nature of known function f identically zero. Homogeneous not identically zero. Inhomogeneous integral equations are important in many applications. Problems in which integral equations are encountered include radiative energy transfer and the oscillation of a string, membrane, or axle. Oscillation problems may also be solved as differential equations. Both Fredholm and Volterra equations are linear integral equations, due to the linear behavior of phi under the integral. A nonlinear Volterra integral equation has the general form, where f is a known function. Wiener-Hopf integral equations Originally, such equations were studied in connection with problems in radiative transfer, and more recently, they have been related to the solution of boundary integral equations for planar problems in which the boundary is only piecewise smooth. Power series solution for integral equations. In many cases if the kernel of the integral equation is of the form k and the Malin transform of k exists we can find the solution of the integral equation in a form of a power series with a the z transform of the function g and m is the Malin transform of the kernel. Integral equations as a generalization of eigenvalue equations. Certain homogeneous linear integral equations can be viewed as the continuum limit of eigenvalue equations. Using index notation, an eigenvalue equation can be written as where m equals me, j is a matrix, v is one of its eigenvectors, and lambda is the associated eigenvalue. Taking a continuum limit, by replacing the discrete indices i and j with continuous variables x and y, gives where the sum over j has been replaced by an integral over y and the matrix m and the vector v have been replaced by the kernel k and the eigenfunction phi. This gives a linear homogeneous Fredholm equation of the second type. In general, k can be a distribution, rather than a function in the strict sense. If the distribution k has support only at the point x equals y, then the integral equation reduces to a differential eigenfunction equation.